Hi viewers, now we are going to write a program in order to perform the pattern recognition on a specific string. Uh, let me give you an example. I had a string here stating that uh, a data stating that ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. So this is my given data that has been taken and my pattern is green. So I have to check whether this particular pattern is being found anywhere in this respective given string. If so, we can say that pattern is found. If not so, the pattern is not uh, found. Uh, we have a special operator known as a, a binding operator which is equal to with a twilled symbol okay the pattern has to be binded to the given string and we have to check whether this particular pattern is matching anywhere in the respective string for which we have an operator known as match for m and a forward slash write the pattern over here and the forward slash over here so two forward slashes are going to be useful for to check whether a pattern is matching or not. Opposite operator for this equal to a twill symbol is not twill symbol. That is equal to twill symbol is useful for to check uh, the pattern is matching or not. And this is useful to check whether the pattern is not matching or not. Okay, so the file letter word is going to be compared with the first file letters. If it is not matching, it is going to uh, stop the process and it is going to check the next file letters. And even if it is not equal, I go and check for the next file letters here it is S C R E A M and still there is a problem continue the process and now it is going to compare C R E A M with our given pattern as they are equal it's going to stop the uh, further comparison process and returns back and uh, gives a positive value and uh, accordingly we can say that the particular pattern is found or not let us check out the example let us write the program now so first we shall enter some data that is our a total string of data uh, we know that we can use uh, angular open, angular bracket close and by default we are going to have a default variable no need to take an extra variable uh, I'm taking a default variable dollar underscore and uh, as we take the input it needs to be charmed in order to have slash n values and at the same time now we wanted to enter a pattern that we wanted to search for so enter some pattern that you want to search okay so now I'm going to take a variable known as dollar pattern and into this pattern I wanted to store a value so for which I can use std in or else just the angular braces your wish and it's always important to chomp every content that we are going to take it into consideration so so far we have taken the data and so far we have taken the pattern now we have to check whether the patterns are going to match or not so pattern matching using binding operator that is equal to 12 symbol that we have uh, learned about so now we have to check the condition so for the condition statement if I am using open the parenthesis and close it and we need to bind this entire string dollar uh, which is present in dollar underscore with binding operator followed with the pattern. The pattern is stored in our variable the scalar variable dollar pattern and you can use am here to indicate its matching uh, or else even, even if you don't use am even then it's going to work out okay so fine for example I'm going to give you match over here and open the braces and close it and now here I want to print the output stating that the given pattern that is the given pattern is dollar pattern has matched this is the output it has to give for us so we shall check whether it's working fine uh, for this one let us run the code yeah enter some data ice cream your screen uh, I have entered and I wanted to search for the pattern letters enter cream so it says uh, the pattern matching using the binding operator uh, the given pattern cream has matched oh fine so here a successful operation so in case if this is not going to match in, in case if it is not going to match uh, what we have is the else part in the else part I can uh, clearly state that uh, the given pattern has not matched okay now let us run the code once again so enter the pattern uh, now I'm going to enter the data as S uh, C R E A N. So screen is something else I have entered, and it says the given uh, pattern screen has not matched. Uh, this is how we can test whether a particular pattern is matching in a, in, a, in anywhere in the given string. See, even I told you that uh, not binding operator is also there. So I can I can embed over here. Uh, I can we can write else if condition part uh, to make this work, not to bind this particular one. I'm not using M here even then it works as I said so if this is to check whether it is matching and this is to check whether it is not matching 
So let us now rerun the code once again. F5. So it's asking me for certain data. It's again ice cream and use cream for the ice cream. Yes. Now we shall enter something else like creamy. You can see that the given pattern creamy has not matched. So even this is working. So hope you have understood. For more video lectures and for more music and for more technical informations, please subscribe to my channel and give your valuable feedback. Thank you so much.